guys, where do you think I can find Coco Girl? Recently, we spotted Coco Girl right here in Miami on the streets, sleeping on the streets of Collins. Homeless! Coco Girl, homeless in Miami. How could Coco Girl continue on this homeless expedition in the United States of America? In Jamaica, I don't know. I've never been to Jamaica, guys. But I guess, for, so therefore, I guess I could understand or whatever. But in Miami, no way. What is wrong with Coco Girl? Hi, guys, my guys. How are you? Hi, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming back to watch Claudine 18 Against Colorism. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Guys, I am on the beach today in Miami Beach. This is actually the building. Let me see if I can show you the building. My first building where I worked for the U.S. Census Bureau on the beach. Right now, they turned it into some kind of storehouse, guys. This is my first place that I worked when I first came, when I first came to Miami from New Jersey. This was the, I had the key. I was like the main security person, the main computer person for the Census Bureau. So right now they have Aurora Boutique. Interesting. And they have an immigration accounting tax. And uh, so they turn into little departments, but this was the building. And there was a house down the street that was being sold at the time for 80,000 that I was considering buying. But I decided it's not because everybody was telling me this place is too dangerous. And the beach used to actually give me the creeps because I didn't, like, I never really had family. So it felt strange to live on the beach, you know? Especially, and then it has a very bad reputation for having homelessness in here. So especially in this place. So I never ventured. But anyway, guys, I am here because I'm looking for Coco Girl. I am on the, I'm, I decided, you know what, Coco Girls came to my city and she's acting a little strange. I'm concerned about Coco Girl, guys. We have to pray for Coco Girl. All right, so I am here looking for Coco Girl because I am not too far from Collins and I saw Coco Girl sleeping on the streets of Collins two days ago. She's probably on mainland right now. And she's probably not even in Miami anymore because she went into hiding, guys. Coco Girl has some serious issues. We have to help Coco Girl. All right. So let's go on an adventure with me in our search for Coco Girl. Welcome to Collins Avenue, guys. This is Collins Avenue. Coco Girl said she was sleeping somewhere on Collins Avenue. But I'm going to tell you something, guys. Uh, I worked here for the census decades ago, okay? This new, this place is nothing like what I used to work with. This is worse than New York City, man. Because you know what? When you're in a crowd, you are safe. But this is not a crowd. But it is obviously where people who want to just do live in the wild comes. When they told me that this place wasn't unsafe a few decades ago, a couple of decades ago, I thought I was scared. But I used to come out here around 9 p.m. in the right now, yes, it is 1 a.m. in the morning, and I never had to come out at 1. But I've came out late. I used to work sometimes, I used to work until 11. Sometimes I used to work until around this time because the census, we had some crazy days, and since I was one of management, I was among managers. I used to have to come out here this late. So it was nothing like this. This place is dangerous now. This is the park. Okay, this is the park, guys, right here. And, you know, this was a different generation. This was when the baby boomers were in their 50s, man. All right. Uh, the baby boomers are dying off right now, guys. And this is what has become of this place. It's not a place that I will feel comfortable to. Yeah, you feel a lot of life. This is the thing. I always felt that. Like, you know, there's a lot of life here. But I don't feel comfortable to sleep here. You know? It's not... I don't even know if, if it's safety. Yeah, I guess it's the comfort of safety. But he, right now, it's like I said, it wasn't like this at all. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yes, it was always busy, but it's like 
the vibe I feel here is just pure danger. I never felt danger when I worked here for the census. Never felt danger. Now I feel danger. I feel danger. It's outrageous what's going on on the streets here on Collins Avenue. All right. I think Coco Go is probably in the southern section of Collins Avenue. Um, but she was in Collins for sure. She was in Collins. Um, this is Collins Avenue, guys. All right. Where Coco Girl was spotted sleeping like a homeless in the streets. Can you imagine this? This woman is, like, brave. I mean, the military... Well, this is what happens to a lot of our soldiers, guys. I, like, our soldiers, man, it, you know... After living, you know, on the brink of death, I guess they they fear nothing. And this is what's gone... What's happened to Coco Ago. She is not afraid of anything after having served in the Israeli army. And I think some of her emotions also come with um, the war that's going on in Israel, seeing her friends die the way they do. You know, all of this can contribute to Coco Girl's erotic behaviors. She's just like, her behaviors are scary. And, and she puts herself in danger and she doesn't care. You know, she thinks she's still in soldier work time. All right. Interestingly, Coco Girl has displayed interest in African and black men in dire situations. From my Yugono in Nayabuanse to the Rasta in Ghana. Until your uh, friend will bring the snail. And I want to show you guys what we have here. So we have this one. To the limbless homeless man in Jamaica. You know, I, nice to meet you, my brother. So I bring you cookie because you are the king. You remember that you are the king. Don't forget. Don't forget that you are the king, my brother. He evidently met the Jamaican um, unfortunate man while on a latest fling with Coco Boy. Coco Girl, how are you, bro? Good morning. What's up? Good morning, man. I'm okay. Good. You're good? What is your name, man? My name is Patrick Tyler Thomas. Nice meeting you, bro. Nice to meet you. All right. All right. I don't know why I talk to you. Yeah. You're so sweet. Nice young miss. Come to me, right? And I offer me money. And she asks me, she asks me questions. She asks me if I want help. I, I don't need help to go. I need help to go out here because I live on the street side. Okay. I live on the sidewalk right down there. So I need help. Like, I need a good shelter. I need how to, how to find the the, the heroes them to get me a shelter. Things things can fix. My father got can fix things. Things we can communicate. My father got you know, to make him fix things. To make things come back now. My life come back now. Um, I want help to come home to get back to you to get me one shelter and get the good people to can watch There is no shelter in Jamaica that helps people like you? Yeah, man. But some of them rock. The people, they were, the people over there rock. If they were, like, a few in the shelter, they are rock. Yeah. So for you, it's better now to be on the street and not in that mm -hmm. shelter? With everybody. Let me can see everybody. I get you. Because, uh, we challenge one of the shelter, Golden okay. Age. Golden Age in Golden Age, this is the name of the shelter. The Imperial Town. Okay. We challenge that one day put me there to live in 2015. And 2013 this happened to me. I get what happened, bro? I get electric in 2013. What happened? I get electric fuel. Electric fuel 2013. All right. That okay. burned your hand? No, but it never burned me up so far. So, so the ele electric people kidnapped me. Ah, yeah. people and kidnapped you and then stopped from me. Yeah. So and let's then, do something like that. I, 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 I feel you. I feel you. I can't pull the car. You see how I pass the car? I feel you. I don't know why. I feel you. And, so uh, wait, wait. I want to tell you something. I, I, I am a YouTuber. Okay. I'm, I'm a content creator. I want to, to try to do something. Maybe people can help you. So I can see you. I mean, can, we can be pleased to do that. Uh, but what do you think? Why? Hey, we can see you. Look, I'm just seeing out here. Sorry, uh, it's part one. It's, it's part. part. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I can sing. I can do lovely music. Okay, do music. Nice. I can expand, but I won't help you. you know? I won't help. Coco boy, who himself had begun to date 
a homeless woman. If you don't consider it as a date, let us consider the definition of a date. So one can use the term date without really implying romantic um, interest. So I mean for someone that can really help her, that will find yeah, her. My, my cousin is in the wheelchair across from the, the stoplight. His name is Glenn. He's amputated two legs. All he said, and he's either, uh, he's the one that grew me primary school, basic school, and everything. So my mom died too late. I'm supposed to go with the father, but I don't like him. I saw you. you just, yeah, my father is across the road in a wheelchair. Your father? He no hand. Yes. Your father? He's the man that grew me. That's my grandma and nephew. Really? Uh -huh. So what, what do you need to do with him? I pray to get some pampers because he sits the whole day to beg and sitting in the feces. He speaks English like you? Yeah, I'm a Jamaican. Okay. Oh, Nipato. There's a second. Here, this one. This one? Okay, let's go. So I hope, like, really someone, you know, that really can help her, but not, you know, not the, the traditional one with medicines and all this stuff, because I don't really believe in that kind of treatment. Yeah, they are my bikes. I think it's like, can be solved in different ways. We just uh, have to write, find the right person. This is your stuff, right? Yeah. The right person, the right time. And I the hope like... Stop. So let's go to the bus stop. This one? No. Yeah, this is where I was sitting. So, so okay. where do you get a seat? Where do I sit? This is a little bit... Let's see. I think like... You have some chair for me. You have some basket for me. Yeah. Let's... You have something inside. You need to share with me something. Like only a chair, you know, it's it's temporary. I'm not gonna take it from you. Only if you have, oh. This one? No, but it's hollow. I cannot sit on this one. That's it, that's the, it. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe put, put, uh, yeah. No, 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 the, the carton, the carton. Ah, it's not, it's, it's not gonna hold. No, 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 it's not gonna hold. Okay, okay no problem, I will sit on the, on the ground. Okay. Let's get some card, right? What? Some card. No, no, it's okay. Just. All right. Have you tried the food over there? Yes. Over there, before. Oh, this is the first time. Huh? Yes. Who bought it for you? Or you just bought it for yourself? Ask the security. I think it was from here. I think they gave me only one fork. No way. Only one fork. Okay. Ah, no, there are two. This is yours, right? Yes. What they sell you in portions? What? They usually put it in one, the rice and the... But it's in two. Yes, it's a bit problematic, right? I think like... You just eat it like that. What do you think? Let's see how we do that, you know? With the rice and everything. Hey, the one. You don't want to go to that corner over there? Uh -huh. No, it's better here. Because I sleep here. You sleep here? Yeah, you usually cut this and carve it. Sleep no bite three. Okay. Make craft from it like statues and stuff. Wow, this looks good. This is a chicken. Let me show you that, guys. This is a chicken, lemon chicken curry. No, it's not curry, sorry. Sour, sour, sweet and sour chicken. And this one is Petrina. Is the Tandoori curry. Yeah, Tandoori. You're good in uh, Indian food. I didn't know that you know that much on Indian food. Do you like it? Yeah. It's good. It's a good restaurant. They have really good food over there. Let me put just something with the rice.
For those of you who are even in the U.S. and um, don't know Miami very well, this is Lehman Causeway. Guys, look at what Coco Girl has me doing. Coco Girl put me to work. Work. And apparently Coco Boy says that he's been in Miami before, guys. Not in Miami necessarily, in the U.S. He's been in the U.S. I don't know where in the U.S. So I'm driving Lehman Causeway, guys. Ah, my weekend off. I'm so happy I'm off this weekend. But anyways, here we go. We're on Collins Avenue, baby. Is that Coco Girl riding in that Boda Boda? <laughs> Look at this. Israeli. Israeli flag, guys. Israeli flag. U.S. flag. Israeli flag. I get it. It's probably because of the war. But it could also be a Jewish neighborhood. All right, I have colleagues who live here, who's lived here all their lives, born here on the beach. I used to take this route every morning to go to work a couple of decades ago. Sahara, oh, Sahara Desert Flag. I'm sure Coco Girl will love that. But anyways, on our way to find Coco Girl in Miami Beach. I miss art. I miss art. I miss those days when I used to paint and create art. But now YouTube has me creating a different kind of type of art with an audience. Thank you guys for being my audience. Miami Beach, baby. I think this might be where I saw so Coco Girl was sleeping. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna park my car in the Collins Avenue beach area, which is a little bit far from here. The reason being is that it's free. I don't wanna pay. No way. I I have $80 on YouTube so far, guys. I haven't gotten paid. And yes, I do wanna do charity work with a payment because what am I gonna do with it? Although, although I guess that's another thing I could do is to just spend it on YouTube. YouTube stuff, be it to pay for parking or to pay YouTube back for whatever props they have. That's another thing I could do with it if I don't want to give it out to the homeless people to buy them food. <laughs> I mean, if somebody doesn't ask you, I don't usually go out and ask them, do you want me to buy you food? You know, I don't do that. But if somebody asks me, yes. The beach has changed, but it's still as beautiful as it used to be. It's still very beautiful. The beach was always beautiful. I love the beaches. It's just that they give me this weird vibe if I even think of living in them. But the thing is, I've never been inside of a residence on the beach. I probably would have gotten a different vibe. I sort of regret so many things, like not going to open houses back in the days on the beach. I was the kind of youth where if I can't afford it, or if I don't think I can afford it, not that I can, but if I don't think I can afford it, I don't even try it. And a few disadvantages you had about the idea of living on the beach is that you had to have a place to go or doing the hurricanes because they would evacuate everybody from the beach, you know? So, I mean, the idea of living here every day and having nowhere else, I guess for a second home, yeah, maybe. Oh my God, I think they're gonna tear down this building and build a new one in its deed and place of it. All right, let me stop this. So when I tell you guys that Miami 
has a Jewish community for a Coco girl. You didn't believe me. Well, here you go. Here's your very Jewish community right here on the beach. All right. So sad. As for affordability, I guess it depends on what you want to buy, you know, in the day, if it's on sale or something like that. And here, if you have the CBS card, you could get this for a dollar or ten. You know, but what am I going to get? Guys, I don't like to spend a lot of money, okay? But, um, hey, I need to buy something for my parking space. These are way too expensive here. You could get these for a dollar. And sometimes they're so old. But anyway, I'll get the boy album. So, guys, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to find Coco, bro. I'm not Asian. <laughs> well, I'm not Asian. I'm American. Yeah, American. Hey, so I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for the Asian. From Asia? <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of Asians around this. So yeah. It's an old thing. Well, what about American guys? You don't like that? American? Hey, no, no. no Maybe wait. tomorrow. Let me take a nap. I will think about it. I will let you know too. But let's talk about this whole idea of Coco Girl and Coco Boy helping out the homeless it's a good thing it's a good thing um they have a jewish community but i don't know why they don't get help from it either they do what they can and at the same time they are teaching the mongo i don't think i am well learned but they try to teach the mongo these values the value of money that we don't judge people by money it is not money that makes a person a quality being, you know, and um, they need to learn that, you know, I think the Mongo, especially as a woman, she needs to learn that in Jamaica several times, Coco Girl had to remind the Mongo that, no, it, um, you know, it's not about how much money the men have, and then he tried to give an excuse, you know, oh, she's not, it's not that she's looking for money, she, I guess what it is that she wants to look is what Aymar was telling her to look for, you know, some guy who is at her level. But that's not how I think a spouse is discovered. Think about people with uh, very strong relationships or in your culture even. For me, I look at Haitians. You know, Haitians don't always start off well. Some of them come here as migrants. And then when they have their family, they put their heads together, just like uh, congrats mom and congrats dad. They put their heads together and they build empires, you know? I have cousins, you know, who, because of their strong marriages, they were able to come off from being poor to being, being millionaires, okay? Um, I have millionaire cousins. When I say million, I'm not talking about millionaire in terms of Kenya. I'm talking about worldwide They've been millionaires for decades now, you know? These are my older cousins. Um, yeah, and they did it because they had a very strong marriage. So it is not the money that this person has in the bank. It is the character of the person. Some You might marry somebody who has money, but then that person goes and wastes all the money. You know, that person has no character. Or they might go and ruin you. One of the ways that people get ruined is by failed relationships. So you might have all the money in the world and then your relationship doesn't go well. Here in the U.S., a divorce alone will cost you and then you have to sell your house, if you, you know, and then you, are losing, you end up losing a lot of investment. The same way, when we are scorned as black women in our communities, we don't get the same opportunities that we would have had had we been respected as black women and within our communities. So for example, me, you know, I would have been a millionaire because I knew what to look for, but then because of colorism, men would um, look down at you as if you were something dirty. It was the light skins who were not dirty, who were decent people. So they discredited, and it's funny how they would discredit you and then they would give credit unto another. You know, or uh, sometimes some people would use you and then um, use what you taught them to share with Dominican women. But I guess the thing is, when God blesses you, 
because God gave you the intelligence to be able to think the way you did. So when somebody does that, these people are cursing themselves. You know, if they want, if they don't like you, they should just stay away. You know, they should not come to try to use you for another woman. That's the problem with the racism and the colorism of Asian men is that they destroy their families their family-based women and therefore they destroy the culture and the next thing we know they are either deported to haiti or you know there's a lot of war because they are destroying the wealth of the country including the women and our values those with value they degrade and they want to be other things they want to be haitians so this is the issue with the colorism that we find in the um, Mongo and Aymara. the desire to be something else is the basis of their tragic flaws you know if they fail it is not because they, they can't find the right spouses it is because they downgrade their own all right so they have the library here i could have called that the library because it's right in front of the beach yeah i should have i should have invested here i really should have but i didn't so i lived in a different life yeah fun weekends like this when I get it time for. But then again, who knew I was going to have two jobs? Who knew? Who knew? I thought I was going to be stuck with teaching for the rest of my life. And now I have opportunities that I didn't know I was going to have. Alright, so um, so Coco Girl is teaching the Mongo. Great. This is Miami Beach, people. As we search for Coco Girl, welcome. Welcome to the beautiful Miami Beach. On our search for Coco Girl. All right, I am. I don't. I'm parked at a bank where I'm not supposed to because I saw this floral arrangement. People are taking pictures, and I had to come and take my little video and ruin people's pictures. Right here. So guys, where do you think Coco Girl is at this time you want me to on the beach? Oh, thank you so much. And you can also do I can us. talk. Yes, okay, come. <laughs> thank you so much, y'all. Guys, you change the direction of the camera. No, this is perfect. This, okay. this is oh, so you can see it. Yeah. Okay, let me take a new video. Let me okay, stop it yes. because guys, I, I am so lucky today that I got a good Samaritan to take a picture of me. So um, on the video. So let me let me know, guys. Where do you think I can find Coco Girl? Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, this is the person who helped me take this picture today. So this is like my first person ever on my channel, on my critique yeah. channel. It's Melty here. <laughs> I wish you all the best. So some channel. people don't think I'm from the US. They think I'm from Africa because I do my critiques on mm -hmm. this Kenyan guy. Oh, yeah, I see. so they come, they beat me up on oh. what I say on my channel. Oh. From Miami? I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I live in Miami. Okay, currently. so we're both Floridians. Yes. Woohoo! Right <laughs> bye, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Bye. 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 These are my first, and, my first oh, other people other than myself. New York. Oh, New York. Yeah. I'm from New York originally. originally. Oh, me too. Oh. I'm from Toronto. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Toronto. Yeah. I went, well, I went to school in Buffalo. Wow! Oh, wow. so yes, yes, that's right. Oh, where are you from in New York? The city uh, or outside? City, Brooklyn. Upstate. Yes. Oh, Brooklyn. Okay. All right. Oh, awesome. Right. I'm from Rockland. Welcome. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Claudine. Claudine is yeah. again. You will say there's nothing wrong with Coco Girl. She's being benevolent. She's giving to the poor. Well, I don't usually see Coco Girl giving away mm -hmm. money, you know, and um, true and like, you know, any kind of gifts like that away, you know, she gives food. She feeds the homeless. Okay. She feeds them. We saw her feeding the, um, the limbless man in Jamaica. We saw her feeding, I forgot this guy's name, Ponto, I forgot his name, man. Um, the one in, in Ghana, she cooked for him, bought food with him, you know, feeding. He, she feeds people, okay? Um, she tends to, and then um, recently here in the U.S., there was this homeless guy, not, Af not African-American, not black, or actually a white man, 
okay, in on the beach. And she bought a $20 uh, blanket so she could sleep on the, on, the, on the beach. And she said she wasn't going to need it anymore. As we don't know what, where she went, uh, she said she was going to go on some bus. She put down the videos, um, you know, so I don't have evidence anymore. So, but um, she gave this man her hand-me-down after she used the blanket. Guys, this reminds me of something I learned in history. How the, how the na um, natives got pox that the Europeans used to sleep in blankets and then they gave them the blankets as gifts to the Native Americans and that's how they got pox and died. That's one of the ways that the Europeans used to use to kill off the Native Americans was with use blankets. But I'm not saying Google Girl has pox. Come on now. You know, but anyways, hand me down. However, she attempts to teach we however, you know, there are some good things about Coco Girl. We saw her trying to teach D to um like, you know, that money is not everything in Jamaica. She, um she was uh and I think D learned a little bit about that money is not everything in Jamaica, but she still doesn't get it down her mind, you know, like material things. She still doesn't understand. Coco Girl constantly says it's not about the material things. It's not about the material things. D still doesn't understand. Okay. But she did try to teach D about how to approach men, about, you know, the way she talked about men having money. And um D changed the, the subject. And um she always in her life she does she's that's not what she's looking for. I don't really know what Coco Girl is looking for in life, but it's definitely not money in men, okay? So this is your Asian food, right? Yes. I'm eating with my hand. Why? Um, because I'm I'm used to. Oh wait, let me get you. You have folks right here. I'm I'm like that two years already. I'm all the time like that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, it's not uh, it's not you, it's no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> People from Africa, that's what they do. They eat with their hands, you know. I think this is the original way to eat the food, you know. Hmm. Right. Well, wow. welcome to Haiti. Yeah. Wow. This is your first time in Miami? Yes. Okay. I just uh, come to Miami to buy uh, some things. Usually I'm not, America, US is not. Uh, I don't like it neither. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I like more authentic vibe. I feel like a little bit fake. You know what I mean? I respect the culture, but I feel like people a little bit.
I'm a YouTuber, I'm explore the beautiful culture. You see? It's okay with you? If not, I'm not. Okay, my sister, thank you. So we are here at Asian food, guys. Look at that. 